My name's Ray. I'm one of the founders here at uh, Root Pairs. Uh, before I get into our company and kind of what we're doing, I just want to say there's a lot of cool companies that are surrounding you right now. I just want to point them out. We got Sean and John from WiseFi. We got uh, Alex from PolyRent um, and also our CTO at Root Pairs. Um, and then Neo Charge for electric vehicles. I see Rope Gun over there. Um, the point why I'm doing that is there's a lot of cool companies and there's a lot of really awesome startups that are going on in the community. So. Uh, this is an awesome time, and uh, we're grateful for Josh putting this together. And uh, thanks again for Bolt About uh, and Tavin for uh, having us uh, at this event. But anyways, uh, yeah, so um, Rue Pairs, who are we and why did we start? Uh, so me and my brother, we actually uh, grew up in the restaurant industry, uh, started as dishwashers, uh, worked our way up as uh, cashier, servers, managers, and we uh, worked in our dad's restaurants in the Bay Area. And uh, one of the biggest problems we experienced growing up was equipment breakdowns. Uh, who's ever uh, had to call an electrician or plumber, anything? Anybody had experience? Yeah, so uh, quite a few. So uh, we experienced that in our restaurant and when something would break down, it would be a huge loss in sales for us if we had to shut down our restaurant. So me and my brother, we, we kind of came to the conclusion we have to create a, uh, uh, some sort of system to have quick repairs for restaurants. Uh, so we started a software company uh, with absolutely no software experience. Um, we thought it was going to be easy, it ended up being extremely uh, tough. <laughs> but uh, we are here and uh, we're still alive, which is the goal. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so just to give you an idea of where we got, uh, we got into the accelerator program about a year ago. Um, they gave us $10,000 in grant money, a bunch of resources and mentors. And uh, we developed our idea of connecting restaurants with service companies. And uh, during testing, we, we heard a lot of feedback, um, except from the, from the service company side. They were saying, hey, you know, I love how I can manage all my restaurant clients, and, um, but that's only a fraction of my clientele. Uh, I still use pen and paper to operate my business, and I'd love something to make my life easier uh, with the paperwork. Uh, so for us, we wanted to listen to our customers. Um, so we ended up building it, and that was our flagship product that came out of the testing period. Um, how we're alive, uh, basically uh, we've been using uh, Cal Poly and uh, student interns uh, to keep our burn rate super low and our productivity extremely high. Um, just two examples, last year we had uh, eight interns work for us and uh, two of them got full-time jobs right out of college because of their portfolio working for us. Uh, so for me as an entrepreneur with uh, pre-revenue at the time, that was, uh, that was rewarding for us. Um, and then moving forward, uh, we're actually bringing on 10 interns tomorrow. Um, to start scaling our company. Uh, we finally have a product to sell, uh, which is exciting for us. So uh, I'm gonna actually pass it to my brother and he'll talk more about uh, what we're doing right now, but uh, thanks for coming. And uh, also shout out to Peyton in the back. She's an amazing photographer. She's actually my girlfriend. So if you're, uh, if you're doing any awesome like wedding photography or like couples, uh, she's the one. So, yeah. Yeah. So raise your hand if you think Ray is older than me. <laughs> raise your hand if you think he's younger than me. I'm the oldest. I love you both. Thank you. Um, I'm actually the younger brother, three years younger than Ray. I graduated from Cal Poly um, actually two months ago. So um, I'm actually officially in the real world with no support from my parents. Um, and, you know, it's kind of exhilarating. I kind of love it. Uh, but anyways, my brother, he didn't mention it, but he went to school out in Italy uh, where he graduated. And that's actually where the business kind of first started. He was working on a startup to help uh, pretty much uh, residential uh, Italian uh, homeowners uh, connect with people uh, who can fix their stuff in their home. Uh, and then it kind of pivoted to this whole restaurant idea when my dad went out there and said, hey, you, know, you should kind of get out of Italy and come back to America and, and uh, do something over here. So that's kind of how it all started. And, uh, to kind of catch you up on, on where we are today, um, you know, this whole realization of, you know, uh, service companies being you know, not very efficient, um, you know, we took that to heart because my brother and I, you know, we're, we're in that whole small business, you know, realm with my dad owning eight restaurants in the Bay Area and, you know, it really, you know, hurts us to see a lot of these, you know, small business electricians, plumbers and different trades people, you know, have to really, um, work around the clock to make their business work. You know, they're spending so much time with their paperwork and not with their family. Uh, and that kind of hit home with us and that's why uh, what we handle for these service companies is kind of an end-to-end -end solution for them. We help them manage, you know, their, their clients with, you know, a uh, very simple CRM. 
Uh, we help them manage their jobs whenever they receive them uh, via phone call, email, or through their website. Uh, we help them uh, you know, manage all their billing and their invoicing as well as connect to QuickBooks for accounting. Uh, so for us, uh, you know, we're still a very young company. This realization was merely you know, eight months ago. Uh, we've been doing a lot of development with our CTO who's absolutely killer. And our product's been in the market for about uh, two months now, three months now. And we've been really trying to battle test it, uh, make sure that uh, you know, customers you know, adopt our software, make sure you know, it's working uh, correctly. And user experience is really, really big uh, you know, in this kind of industry, uh, especially uh, service companies. You know, they're not tech savvy, these people. You know, are the fly-by-night technicians. Um, and uh, a lot of the times, technology is not at the forefront for them. So uh, just user experience has been uh, what we've been really focusing on. And uh, we have uh, currently one paying customer. Uh, so that happened about uh, three, no, three four weeks ago, ago three, three weeks ago. Uh, so we've been really trying to make sure our products, uh, you know, fit in, fitting into the market. Um, we actually are saving uh, that customer, uh, James at Pure Energy Electrical, has two technicians on his team. We're saving him about 25 hours per week uh, in his operations. Uh, and we are uh, increasing his revenue by 16% month over month. Uh, and for him, that is about $65,000 a year. Uh, and simply because we're able to, uh, you know, pretty much streamline a lot of the operations that they had to do manually, whether it be receiving a job and then having to communicate that manually to a technician out in the field. Our software automates a lot of these processes and uh, streamlines it for them. So that's what we're up to. If you know anybody in, in, the, in the small business you know, service trade industry, you know, let us know. We'd love to connect with them and help improve their business. So thank you and uh, ask us any questions. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here today. Um, I'm Katerina Axelson and I'm the founder of Tastry. I almost feel like I should give a disclaimer and say that if you follow any advice I give you, or well, really anyone, that <laughs> your results may vary. Um, so I'll, I'll tell you how Tastry started. Um, so Tastry started when I was uh, still a student at Cal Poly and I was finishing up my last year um, for my degree in chemistry. And to pay for college, um, I worked at a custom crush facility. So um, it's basically a winery that has multiple clients, um, and you make wine for them because they can't afford their own um, facility, which is very common in the wine industry. And I noticed that it was very common practice to have a 10,000 gallon tank of wine, for example, and to, to sell half of that wine to one customer with one label, and the other half to another customer with another label. So essentially the same wine can go under two different bottles, have two different labels, two different price points, and then it would receive different industry scores. Uh, so I thought that you know there, there's, there was an opportunity to create a more transparent way to connect consumers to products they love. So what I did was is I got permission from management um, to be a mad scientist in the lab um, late until 3 or 4 a.m. and I experimented with the chemistry methodology to measure the chemistry of the wines to closely attribute it to consumer preferences as opposed to for quality control purposes, which is what everyone in the wine industry does. Um, so I, I took about a year and a half and developed this database and I wanted to learn about how to process this data and build a recommender system. So I took this to a computer science uh, professor at Cal Poly and we were just supposed to have a half hour meeting where he was supposed to answer some of my questions and it turned into a four hour meeting and he canceled his class and then he brought two other professors into the room and they started arguing with each other, they forgot all about me, started drawing logic trees on the board and um, long story short, he's been our co-founder for the past three years <laughs> um, and what we um, created and patented was a, was a way to uh, track and predict consumer preferences for sensory based products and now we filed that patent in 54 countries and what we do with that is is we um, are currently in wine, um, and we, but we've also tested um, fragrance, uh, beer, spirits, and cannabis. And um, we recommend wine to shoppers in retail. Um, so at Tastry, we like to say that we taught a computer how to taste. Um, and our biggest 
deployment to date has been with Ajo Del Hayes um, on the East Coast, which is one of the largest grocery retail conglomerates in the U.S. And we've seen amazing results. So we've seen a 5% lift in wine sales, 18% lift in margin, and we've seen that shoppers who get a tasty wine recommendation score the wines they buy on average 45% higher compared to any other um, method they would use to buy wine. But what really makes Tastry an interesting software and insights company is that we can take that data and then go to the category buyer and help them make intelligent business decisions on how they should be optimizing their product mix on the shelves. So we can essentially predict um, what will sell before it hits the shelves in a way you know companies like Amazon, IBM, Google Brain can't because we look at the chemistry to predict how something will perform as opposed to using, and I'm, I'm trying not to nerd out, just give me a second, um, it, as opposed to using the typical collaborative filtering algorithms. Um, so that's what we do, and the next step of, the next product we just launched is for wineries. So what we essentially do now is we onboard wineries onto the back end of our software.